So I'm here with Trinity Noggle. She's a pitcher for the Lower Columbia softball team. And Trinity, here you are. You know, season's about to start. What things have you been working on personally to try and get better? And what things are you hoping to accomplish as a team? So my team and I, we've been working on a lot. We've been working on me. Just I've been working on trusting my defense, which is so easy with who I have behind me. I love them. I know that if a ball goes out, everyone's going to be going as hard as they can, putting full effort into everything. So it's nice because this year has been great, and I just know that everyone's going to have my back behind me. You know, and trust your team is something you have to work at and develop. And um, you know, speaking of working at and developing things, going from high school to college, it's it's quite a bit different. Um, a lot of changes. What things have you had to work on? What things have you had to get used to and adjust to? My biggest thing was my pitching. I liked. Um, I pitched a little high, so people would swing at it. But now hitters, and especially on our team, I've got a lot of work with it. They're very picky, so it's helped me a lot with making sure I'm hitting the right zones and not pitching it too high. And just because they're all picky and they're good hitters, so. I'm lucky I have my team to work on it with and get my good spots. And then to make it here at the college level, you know, it's not an accident. You don't just stumble into it. You actually have to earn it. Who in your life has really kind of been that motivator to help you push and, and get to where you are now? My biggest motivators have been my parents and my sister. My little sister catches me all the time, and so she's been she's always out there catching me, pushing me. So I always had someone to catch me so I didn't have any excuses to not go pitch. I always had someone to pitch to, and my parents always were on my back, and um, they always pushed me and took me to everything I had to go to. And so I had such a good support system that got me to where I am now. Yeah, and then, you know, here at Lower Columbia, what about this program, this school, uh, kind of drew you in and kind of made you excited to uh, commit here? What I love the most about it was everyone was so kind when I came here. All It seemed just like such a fun program, and it was it's so close to where my hometown. So my fan, my family got to come, gets to come watch me. They don't have to travel too far. And I just um, loved, I love the campus, and I love the coaches, and it's just a very positive vibe, and it's very supportive. Yeah, you're from Castle Rock, just up the up the road. So, so here you are. You mentioned your sister a little bit ago, and and she's actually on the team with you this year. What's what's it like to to play with her again? Obviously, you played in high school together, but now here at the college level, what's it like to to see her in the same uniform and, and be cheering together? It's the best feeling ever. We thought high school would be the last time we got to play together, and to be able to play together now makes it even more special. So this is gonna be my last year playing, and so it's even more special having my sister behind the plate with me and getting to experience these last moments with my best friend. And then, you know, last question I have for you, you know, at the field you always see, you know, girls running around, playing, goofing off. What advice do you have for that younger generation that sees you and wants to kind of make it to this level as well? I would just say push yourself. Even those days that you don't want to go out there, you feel tired, you have excuses not to, just do it. You'll, it'll be worth it in the long run. And if you want to get to where, get to the higher level of softball, just push yourself and believe in yourself. Positive mindset. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.